I'll just say that, uh, you know, I just thought that I, I've known Corey for a long time and, and I just thought that uh, her team was, was firing on all cylinders today. Um, we talked about discipline, focus, execution. Um, you know, I thought there were moments coming out the gate where we matched their intensity. Uh, and then there were moments where our defense was late and you can't be late against a team like this. You can't. They'll make you pay. Uh, their leadership, their veterans, their experience, they're deep. And, and so I think there were moments where that was exposed for us. Um, but there were also times tonight where we just talked. There were just extra effort plays. I know in some instances, you know, 6-7 seven is 6-7, six, seven, right? But physicality, doing your work early, um, being aggressive, being on time in the traps, being on time in the rotations. And then offensively, I, I thought we were limiting ourselves to, to one shot. We didn't get multiple opportunities on one shot. I thought we were over dribbling in instances, over passing. I thought we turned down some shots that we were looking at and that we wanted. Um, and then we were uncharacteristic from the free throw line. Um, so the goal was limit paint points, limit second chance opportunities, make it hard for their big four. And I just don't think consistently that that was that was us tonight. And talking about the rotations, I mean, like you're saying it's like a little bit late on the rotations. I mean, defensively, it seemed like you were able to force them into some late shot clocks. But Absolutely. Again, like you said, I mean, I know height is height, and being, but we didn't get it back. Right. Right. We forced them into the miss, and we always talk about first shot defense. Right. Our first shot defense is really good, but then if they get an offensive rebound, then percentages go up. They get a second offense, a third offensive rebound, percentages go up. And so you can't give teams, I don't care who they are, um, second and third opportunities around the rim to finish. And so that's where we have to be more physical, more uh, in pursuit of boxing out, and, and just the physicality in which, you know, we, we got to play harder with. Um, but I thought our first shot defense, in a lot of instances, contested and made them miss. We just didn't get it. So for Coach, I know that it has been a rough shooting night for the Sun Devils mm -hmm. in particular. What are the highlights from, from the game? Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to know what, what they're looking to, to build on as they face the USC Trojans, mm -hmm. which they won over Arizona in three overtime periods. Oh, wow. Um, well, this time of year, I mean, that, that, that's what you're going to see. I mean, there, there's a will, a want to, and it's a fight to the finish. Uh, and, and so what you look at, we'll show them what we did well coming out of the gate, but you gotta put four quarters together. And if they go on a run, you can't drop your head, you, then you gotta get a stop. Going into the fourth, it's 48, right? If you if you hold them to 48 points, that's good, but we gotta score. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta score the ball. Uh, she knows that, right? She knows how to score, but I, I just think that, then that for our team, sometimes we're so unselfish. You know, you, you got to take the shot that you work on every day in practice. We worked on that short shot, that, that mid-range jumper. We knew that their bigs weren't coming up. And so that shot was for us. Uh, inside, there were so many around the rim that we didn't finish. We have to finish. Power box off too. Get them up in the air. Go into them. And, and not let the cause, dis, you know, that we can't control disrupt us. And that's, y'all, that's easier said than done. We all know. Um, but you can't change that. And so those are just moments where uh, we'll show what we did well, because I thought we did some things well defensively, limiting them to one shot. But then we're also going to show where we weren't physical on the box outs. We didn't erase them. We, went, we didn't dig out some of those longer rebounds. Uh, and and that's, the, that's the extra effort. 50-50 uh, balls. There were a ton of 50-50 balls. We're not supposed to bend at the knee. We're supposed to get on our belly. And so we're going to show them all those moments where that those are winning plays. And they know it. Why we didn't do it, I, I don't know. But we're going to see it on film uh, because right now all we have is what's in front of us, and that's to get ready for USC. And then Jalen, obviously the second time playing a team in conference play, tough play, but it seemed like the coach was talking about the, I mean, to start the game and in the first half that you guys made some adjustments. But what did you notice? defensively that they were able to make adjustments on you guys would kind of made the offense sputter a little bit? Um, just ball pressure. I think playing a team a second time again, 
especially after like I had a good game against them last time, they're gonna scout it out. So they're gonna scout our plays, they're gonna scout our actions. So that means other people have to step up, other people have to be put in positions that they're not used to being in. And with me being a scorer, I have to put the ball in the basket. So just to understand that if they are pressing up, maybe the back door is there. Now you got a six, seven in there. So maybe we need to kick it out to the shooter. Shooter has to be ready to shoot. So just making sure that we're aware of what the defense is doing. Like I said, we're a young team, we're still growing. So we're still trying to get that that understanding of the game. But once we get that, I think we'll be, we'll be okay. Coach, you talked about this a little earlier, but how did you prepare heading into this game to, for uh, their center Lauren Betts? Well, again, we were um, obviously bringing the double team, making her catch it off the block because any, I mean, if she gets deep, she, it's just miking. Um, but I thought, and you saw it in moments where it worked really, really well. Those single coverages, they stretch you out, obviously, so you can't bring help. And our rotations were just a little late when she had those single coverages. But there were times where she missed and we didn't get it back. And that's where we, we had to erase her. At that point, you can't box her out. So you just have to move her out uh, and then let the guards dig those rebounds in. But I thought our Reds were, were, were pretty good when they were on time. And we had really extreme ball pressure. We started the game with multiple deflections because we have bigger guards. But the scout plan was to limit her touches. And if she did get it, don't let her turn. As you continue to emphasize getting 1% better, mm -hmm. what were the areas you felt like they have, they have shown and mm -hmm. what do they need to work on? Oh, I think we're getting better. I mean, we're flying around, we're putting ourselves, we're competing. Right, but now you have to finish. And, and so early on, I think we were trying to figure out the competing part and figuring out the strategy, the plan, and what we need to do. Um, I see more confidence out there. I see more physicality. I see the scheme, but now it's just, okay, now I have to finish the play. And then it's the extra effort play. So do I think that we as a team are getting better? Yeah. Um, but against, you know, every night you're playing a top 25 team of veterans. We have to keep in mind, we have one returning player on the floor in Jaden Simmons, and then the rest are newcomers. And then halfway through the fourth, you know, Jaden goes out. Now you have all sophomores and a freshman on the floor against a fifth year, fifth year senior, right, experience. So experience is the best teacher. And what, I, what our team is gaining is invaluable uh, because the beauty of it is sophomores become juniors, freshmen become sophomores. And then, and then we will incorporate uh, our starters, right, who are sitting on the bench back into the game. You, you have a Maggie Besselink, you have a Ty Skinner um, on the floor, it's a different game. And so you see that if some of these teams don't, they don't have Lauren Betts, right? They don't have their star players they don't have their veteran players, it's a different outcome. What I love is that our young players are gaining experience.